Hey guys, what's up? It has been a hot freaking minute since I sat down and filmed a video. It was the end of the semester, finals, it just got real hectic. I can name all the excuses in the book, but they're irrelevant, so let's just jump into the haul. So first off, I wanted to start with this brand that I am collaborating with on today's video, and it is called shophush.com. They also have an app, and they were kind enough to send me um, a bunch of makeup palettes, which I'm so excited to show you guys. So they do have like higher end products, as well as like lower end products, which is the stuff that I received. They also have like Korean skincare, which I know is popular amongst a ton of people on YouTube. And then they also sell like makeup brushes and a ton of different stuff. So all of their stuff is super affordable. And they do offer free shipping on orders $25 and up, which is kind of nice. So I will show you guys all the makeup palettes that I got and I will show you guys the one that I used first. So today I used the Royals palette, which um, these are all by the brand Bad Habit. I used the color Queen and Throne. So I didn't branch out to any of like the... I don't know, more bold colors, but on the nights that I do go out, I'm definitely gonna be using this palette. The next one is Bad Habit Inferno. This one might be a dupe for like the, the Naked Heat palette. It's very like red and like deep warm colors. This palette 100% reminds me of my friend Brittany here on YouTube. Next up is the Retro Love palette. This is a little bit different. I don't know if I would use this one as often, maybe for like a Halloween costume or something or for like a very specific look but definitely the colors are a little out there for some of these and I'm very basic so that is one thing about these palettes is that a lot of them are like very shimmery but the packaging is really nice on this one it's like magnetic and hard next up is the Athena palette which has 18 eyeshadows in it again has a ton of shimmery colors and very unique colors um, a lot of these are super shimmery and they're very like chunky glittery So I will definitely have to swatch this one for you guys because I'm very interested to see how That one will kind of blend out next up is kind of like very similar packaging. This one's Aphrodite This one has super unique bright colors So this one has very shimmery colors as well and the last product that I received was the midsummer night palette And this one is huge. This one is definitely the best value money wise they also have like highlight palettes, but I never got any of those. But this is like a huge palette, you guys. It has like 30 eyeshadows in it. So definitely a good value for like 10 to $12. Um, a lot of these are shimmery, like I said, but they are like super pretty. And I know the eyeshadow palette that I used was very pigmented and they're all by the brand Bad Habit. I'm assuming that all of them are equal in like the quality aspect. So I would say like just by using the eyeshadows on my eyes today, they're very similar to like drugstore brand makeup, um, like NYX palettes and CoverGirl. So thank you so much Hush for sending me these. I appreciate it so much and I absolutely love them. Definitely check out Hush I will leave everything linked in the description box for them now moving on to the clothing I want to say that I haven't been purchasing a lot of clothing But this is kind of cumulative over a few months because I haven't sat down to film anything for you guys, but I am Obsessed with these next two items. So if you guys have a Sam's Club membership card run to your nearest Sam's Club as soon as possible because these are incredible these are like those super expensive fuzzy pullovers like the sherpa quarter zips that are like 80 to 90 dollars they're the exact same quality as those but they are drum roll please they're 17 dollars and 98 cents yeah I died a little bit when I heard that, so I grabbed one in pink, which is obviously the women's one. And then also yesterday, I saw that they had a couple men's ones. So this one's a little bit different. This one's not as like balled up, I guess, but this one's just a black one. It's kind of hard to see. This one is a men's size, which I'm just so happy that I found these and didn't have to pay 80 to $90 for a stupid pullover. I just can't do that, you guys. I'm so excited for this next item. It is a KK and Baby J sweatshirt. I ordered their merch when they had this like a couple weeks ago and it finally came, so I'm so excited. I did order a large because I do like to wear pullovers a little bit bigger, so it is pretty big on me, but I do really like this color. Next up is American Eagle. It is like an inside out sweatshirt with like a zipper on the side. They have a dark charcoal gray one and then another color. But I saw Whitney Simmons had it. So I looked online and they had a pink one. And as you can tell in a little bit, you can see that I'm obsessed with this color. Also from American Eagle, I think this was on sale. But it's like this um, army green tank top with little... Um, cutouts in the front but super cute and definitely like a going out top but it is so cute also from American Eagle I got this white kind of like belled sleeve I don't know what you call that tiered sleeve 
top and it's super cute next up is this um jean jacket that i actually cut myself which is kind of funny but it's gonna be hard to show you guys in the frame but as you can see i cropped it i saw in gretchen garrity's video that she was wearing this really cute distressed black denim jacket so i took it to the internet and tried to find it and of course it was nowhere to be found so i went on amazon and ordered a large sized black jean jacket and then i cropped it myself and it was about 37 dollars which is a little pricey but it's a super cute layering piece if you guys want a trendy piece like this go on to amazon and just crop it yourself i literally cut it and then i just washed it and it frayed like that so yeah like i said i am obsessed with this pink color so i got this um, I think it's like chenille, Chanel, I don't know. It's like the type of fabric, but this is so cute. It's from Target and I think it was like $20, but I got it in a medium so it could be a little bit oversized, but I'm obsessed. So cute and so soft. I love it. I have this top from Urban Outfitters. I don't think I showed this, but I did get it quite a while ago. This is from Urban and it's just like this cropped little top i don't know the back is kind of a little weird on it but I wore it out last weekend and it was comfy and stuff so it's really cute and then this one is like this light baby pink color and i believe i got this one for like 11 dollars but it's just like a pretty deep v and then just like normal romper and then as some of you may know i go a little free people crazy sometimes but i did find this one at um tj maxx so this is like one of those waffle knit material tops and it has like super flared out sleeves i've been trying to get into like more unique pieces so i got this one at tj maxx but i do believe they still have it on the free people website so i think i got this for like 30 dollars next from free people i got this on cyber monday so it was like i think 32 dollars but it's like it's very weird it's an extra small but it's like huge like can you see this hello but it looks really cute on it's like very draped on the side so i think with like a cute pair of, pair of jeans and boots it would look really cute this last item from free people is super hard to show but it's like this sweatshirt i actually got it at a boutique so i don't know if they'll have it on the free people website i'll try my best to try and find it but um like i said you can see it in the try on portion um next i got this at marshall's and another thing that i actually cropped is just like this gray oversized sweatshirt and then i just cropped it on the bottom and i wore this with that denim jean jacket and leggings and it was super cute. This was $6.99 at Marshalls, so if you guys have videos you would like to see, definitely leave them in a comment and I would love to do them. Otherwise, that is going to be everything for this video. Also, thank you so much again to Hush for sending me those palettes. So I will see you guys in a new video very soon. Bye guys.